Okay. Arrow. You have been promoted to... What is that? Corporal? Corporal. Okay. Tactical sense or aggression? Plus 10% critical hit chance per enemy in sight. To a max of 30%. Confers plus 5 defense per enemy in sight. Max to 20. The plus defense sounds awfully nice. So this is this essentially turns her more defensive, and this turns her more aggressive. Which one's better? I don't know. I mean, honestly, her biggest problem isn't so much getting hit as it is just doing enough damage. Because her whole, like, the whole assault idea behind the shotgun and all that is kind of just to run in and just do it, go right up to the enemy and do a ton of damage. So, I'm gonna go with aggression. For more damage. Alright. Izelli, who very nearly died, but somehow managed to pull through. Promoted to Corporal. Okay, here's Squat Sight, so this is what I was talking about. Allows firing at targets in an ally's sight radius, but these targets cannot be critically hit unless using headshot. Versus snapshot. Removes the sniper rifle's restriction on firing in overwatch after moving. Any shots taken suffer a minus 10 aim penalty. So, yes, you remove two of the... You have the option here to remove two of the sniper's biggest problems. The inability to fire after moving and also the lack of ability to shoot enemies at long range. And uh, you take a big penalty to aim. I want to say squad sight is more important. Even though they can't be critically hit. Unless using headshot. Which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I'm going to go with squad sight. Alright, two sergeants. Oh... <laughs> When you're promoted to a uh, sergeant, that's right, you get a randomized nickname. Tyrone Moose M and Gideon Prophet Graves. <laughs> I hope everyone likes their new their new nicknames. I might give them new nicknames, we'll see. Okay, Shredder Rocket or Suppression. Fire a barrage that pins down a target, granting reaction fire against it and imposing a 30 penalty to aim. So if it moves, you shoot it, and it has a 30 penalty to aim. Which is essentially the same thing as plus 30 bonus defense to everyone else for that one enemy. Alright, Shredder Rocket. Fire a rocket that causes all enemies hit to take plus 33% damage from all sources for the next four turns. The rocket's blast is weaker than a standard rocket's. No, that's too... that's way too specialized. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm going with suppression. Mm-hmm. Alright. My support. My support person, Gideon Prophet Graves. Field medic. Allows medkit to be used three times per battle instead of once. Smoke and mirrors. Allows two additional use of smoke grenades each turn. Okay, well, I'm finding myself not really using the smoke grenade. Just as I didn't before. So once again, I'm going to go with the field medic because... Uh, a support should be medic. It really should be. So you really should max out his... Their, uh, their medical abilities, I think. It's really handy to have a medic. So let's go with that. Okay. New facility? He had another facility. Workshop. Wait, but I already had this facility. I already had this facility, but for some reason it just told me about it now. That's strange. We will be in touch, Commander. Alright, I've got eight engineers. Almost enough to build the uplink facility. And I also have a shit ton of money. Some more excavating. Look at all these labs. Oh, these labs are really cheap. Look at that. 
50 and 3 power, 50 and 3 power. I'm going to build both of them. Yep. All right, what is there left to do? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Research is good. This is good. Yes. Soldiers are good. No more medals to go. We just need to wait so I can build more facilities. There we go. Okay. A world of possibilities opens up to us. Now, hold on. Let me see if this steam does have a bonus to power. Thermo generator. That was it. Supplies 20 power, but must be built over steam vents. Compared to... Six. So, that's... I don't know if it's actually... I'm not sure if that gives you more power... More bang for your buck. In terms of how much power you get for the money you put in. But it does save space. And that's really important to save space. So I'm probably going to put power generators over there. God, I almost want to remove this one and switch sides. I d look at this. Look at this. I could build power generators here and there's two steams. Five dollars to remove. Building one costs sixty. That that's not bad. I'm gonna remove it. Yeah. It it hurts me to do so, but let's just do this. Let's just get our power up there. Just build a thermo generator. It'll save on space. In the long run, this is good. Because you're going to run out of space. This is way more compact. This is practically like three power, slightly more than three power generators in one. So we got that going. That takes care of our power. Now, this is going to be satellite uplink. I guess. Yeah. This will be power, so I guess I can build whatever the hell I want here. All right, let's get to it. Laboratory. Now, something had a bonus with the laboratory. What was it? One of these labs, right? Counts. This facility counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. What was the adjacency benefits? Plus 10% increase to research speed for every adjacent laboratory. Okay. Well, let's go with this genetics lab. And... Let's build... what? What am I miss? Oh, I need more power. I need to wait for it to finish building. Damn! You know what was really stupid? Why did I remove the power generator when I didn't need to? I didn't, I didn't even build anything here. And yet I just removed some of my power. I could have just left it until I needed the space. That was stupid. That was really stupid. Ah, <sighs> now I have to wait eight days for the thermo generator to finish. Whoops. It's fine. If this was on classic, it wouldn't be fine. But it's on normal. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I guess you're probably not worried about me, are you? You're worried about you. You're worried about you, the soldier, dying, aren't you? You'll be fine. Don't worry. Let's wait for experimental warfare and see what that does. Oh! Never mind, let's wait for this. Send a Sky Ranger. Wait, I thought... Oh, I thought that was a UFO. Wait, that's not a UFO. W what was it? Oh, it was a UFO landing site. Contact detected. It's a small scout. Okay, so it's already landed. Wait a minute, do I even have the... 
The soldiers to do this? Two squaddies, a corporal, and a rookie. Ooh. Crap. How hard is this mission? Am I gonna get destroyed? I don't know, let's start training a new person. All right, let me get out the list again. A new person. The next person on the list, what was the last one I did? It was Arrow, right? Yeah. The next person on the list is Spectre. So I'm gonna leave the first name. Mona Spectre. It's actually a pretty cool sounding name. Solid copy. Solid copy. I feel my you Let's make you Polish. Press some random stuff and see what happens. No, we need something more ridiculous for the hair. <laughs> you can't even see out of that thing. Actually, no, never mind. That one you can't even see out of. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to go with that. The Battle of Fedora. And let's get some colorful eyebrows. There we go. Bright blue eyebrows. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Everything being kind of dark. It's kind of badass actually yeah let's go with that Mona Spectre so wow we have two assaults let's make items available how should I outfit them sniper should have a scope I think Totally messed that one up. Let me try that again. Man, this is going to be tough with this loadout with one, one rookie and two assaults. Assault. Let's give you another vest. Someone needs a freaking medkit. I guess it's going to be the rookie. Don't let us down, Spectre. I know you're a rookie, but you have your battle fedora, and you look kind of badass, and plus you're the only one with a medkit, so please don't die. Is this actually going to work? Two assaults, a sniper, and a rookie. Ugh. All right, let's um, let's do it. Here we go. Maybe to our deaths. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Oh, thank you for telling me I need to stay sharp. See, I was thinking I could just slack off and <laughs> nothing would go wrong. Alright, looks like there's going to be meld canisters.
Although, honestly, I'm not even going to... No, I'm not even going to risk it and speed up my moves to get the meld canisters because I'm in a very big position of... HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Yeah, I'm in a very vulnerable position here with my with so many people being out of commission. So I'm not going to take any risks for the meld. I already have a hundred meld, which I don't even know how much that really is because I don't know what I'm going to spend it on exactly. But no risks, no. So let's just take it easy. <laughs> Spectre looks so so awesome with that battle fedora. Even though they're just a rookie. They're, they're the most badass one looking here, but... Also, the weakest. Of course, though, if Tyrone M was here, he would, of course, be the most badass one, since he does have the medal of... What was it called? Badassery? Well, I guess the assaults are leading the charge. They have the most health. And the most experience. Well, that was quick. Oh, three. Okay. They're throwing more enemies at me this time. It's getting harder. Where should I put my sniper? Let's put him here. And then hunger down. And I will put you there. You have to dash there, but you're in full cover, so you should be fine. And Spectre, um, why don't you just stand out in the open? You'll be fine. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll actually lead you. I'm your commander, I guess I'm supposed to tell you what to do and not be completely stupid. Why is there a... an, an eye with a red thing through it just floating there? Why is it just floating in the ground? It's, it's part of the UI, but somehow it's become embedded in the world. That's weird. Crap, where do I put you? I kind of have to sprint to get you anywhere useful. Alright, rookie. Spectre, I need you to level up. You're gonna lead the charge <laughs> into full cover. You'll be fine, I promise. There's only three enemies that can shoot you. You'll be fine. 13%. 1%. Um... You're only in half cover. That's, that's a terrible shot. No, just hunker down. All right, everyone's in full cover. Or hunger down. Ah. Uh, if only I could kill that one, but it's in full cover, so the chance of that is extremely unlikely. Try me. Try me. Oh, God. Spectre, you're gonna die. I'm sorry. Oh god, don't- it, you- oh my god, but you might actually die. Holy shit, you have no cover! Spectre, I'm sorry. Actually, no, never mind, that's still full color. It's still full cover, even though the tree's completely blown up. The stump is full cover somehow. Okay. Dresden, what kind of a shot do you have? Of course, you can't even shoot the one that's doing the mind meld. Is there any way to get to it? What if I r dash? No, I'm not even going to get close. Well, Spectre is the one with a medkit. He could heal him. She could heal herself. But then she'd probably just take damage again.
Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do something here. I am gonna have Spectre take a shot at the one doing the mind meld. Because. Two reasons. One, it gives Spectre a chance to be a complete badass and quickly earn a promotion. And two, if it works, it is going to solve the entire situation. However, if it doesn't work, I can still use my run and guns to take out both of these enemies. Leaving only the one hidden behind here. Which still leaves Spectre in a decent position because she's in full cover. So she might be okay. Come on, Spectre. You can do this, Spectre. I believe in you. Just, just channel the power of the battle fedora. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> it's alright. There'll be more chances for Spectre to prove herself. If she doesn't die the next turn. Did they go into Overwatch at all? Hold on, actually, I might have another shot at this. No, actually, I don't, because a sniper... Uh, no, he can't move and then shoot. Never mind. All right, it's time to burn my running guns. Where can you move? Okay. Optimal position. Optimal position for flanking here. Here. This is better. Full cover. Hold on. Where am I going to put you? Where am I going to put you? Where the hell? I don't think I planned this out very well. Well, shit. I guess here. It's only half cover, though. Ooh, but this is probably blocking line of sight with that if I go here. Okay, that'll be fine. Yeah, alright. So, you kill that one. And... Maybe I don't need to use running gun to kill this one. Let's try this. Let's do a headshot. Nicely done. Good job, Dresden. Don't need to use this final run and gun. So instead, I can go here and protect Spectre from dying. Or take a shot. <laughs> a 1% chance to hit. Um, no. Please don't kill Spectre. Oh, oh, fuck me. Three thin men. Three thin men. This is not good. Oh, at least they're standing out in the open like idiots. Oh, never mind. This is bad. Thank God it's running away. That's exactly what I need right now. I so wish I had a rocket right now, but... I don't have support. No support. You're being flanked. So this is a shit position to be in. Who can shoot what? All three. One. Three. And three. Okay, who can you shoot? 
That one. Yeah. Yeah, take the shot. Damn, Dresden, you're a boss. Finally, a, it's amazing in this game, early on, to have a sniper that can actually hit people. You'd think snipers would be extremely accurate, but early on in this game, they're usually not. At all. I can't remember if they went into Overwatch or not, did they? I don't think they did. But... Hmm. See, yeah. He's for close quarters battle. He needs to get up into it because he has a freaking shotgun. He's not going to be able to hurt them from afar. This is all bad cover. I could kill this thin man. But then what about the other one? So hard to make a decision. 13, 1. Terrible chances. Just terrible. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well. Why don't you move into full cover where you're not being flanked? What kind of a shot do you have from here? 34. I, c I could have Spectre heal herself instead of shooting. Because if she takes one hit, she's definitely dead. If she heals herself, she's probably fine. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I need to get Spectre out of the fight. It's way too damn risky. There you go, Spectre. You will live another day. Or at least another turn. Hmm. I can't believe that's only half cover. It seems so high. 13% chance is just shit. So, why don't you move into better cover so you can't get flanked? Is it worth it to hunker down? Yeah, hunker down. I think a 34% chance is actually worth it, so I'm going to take it. And it paid off. Excellent. Good, they're retreating. So that leaves one thin man and a sectoid. Which is coming back to battle, or is it still running away? Really? Did it seriously think that could possibly hit me? It was shooting from like 200 feet away. Where should I move my sniper? This is a pretty good spot, although I think he might be being flanked by the sectoid, so that's not great. Actually, right here is a really good spot. Right back where Spectre was. Just hunker down. You're good there. So much of this is just half cover. It's bad. Just move over here. No, I can't. Uh. Here, this will be fine. It's half cover, but I don't think anything can shoot you from the fuck. Oh my god, I just fucked myself. I've got a visual. One thin man, uh, sectoid already on me. Thankfully, they were all retreating, but now there's three more sectoids and that thing. Jesus Christ, how am I going to live? Spectre, I need your help. 
Help me. Please help me. You can't hide anymore. You need to be put back into battle. The cruel thing is, I'm one square short of being able to go here and do and doing something like Overwatch. And same with this. Oh, shit. Right, so Smith is kind of screwed here. Next turn, he's probably going to get flanked. I'm going to move up here so I can be in a better position to defend Smith. What's a 17% chance? That's not worth it. Hopefully she's not flanked from here. I don't think she will be. No, she's okay. And let's overwatch. We seriously need to overwatch here. I really want to overwatch, but I also want Spectre to be in full cover. Alright, go here. It's half cover, but I don't think anything can see you from there, and then overwatch. Okay. Oh boy. I really, really, really wish I had a rocket right about now. Good, it missed. Look, an RPG would take out three enemies right now. It'd be perfect. I don't even have a grenade. A grenade would take out three enemies right now, but I don't even have that. Because they're normally useless, and they normally are, but now they're not. Oh, great. One's been melded. Okay, please hit. It's a shotgun shot, so it's of course it's not gonna hit. Why would it? Shotguns don't normally hit from like 100 feet away. Please don't hit! Please don't hit! Ah, oh, that would have done so much damage. Those things don't have much health, but they do a lot of damage. Okay, sniper. My my sni my sniper doesn't have line of sight on anything. Are you kidding me? You're telling me you can't see that? It's too far away? Ah, oh, shit. Great. He, he can't attack. He can't do anything this turn. Just... Just Overwatch, I guess. Twenty-five percent chance. That's bad, but I'll take it. And of course, it missed. Once again, the Battle of Fedora does not seem to be as lucky as I thought it would be. And you're being flanked by that little shit. I could go here and probably kill it, but then I'd probably just get flanked by something. On the other hand... Ooh. Ooh. What about my other run and gunner? You can't even get near. Okay. Wait, are they on Overwatch? Can you tell if they're on Overwatch? No, don't don't shoot. Is there any way to tell if an enemy's on Overwatch? I can't... Uh, I don't know. I want to run and gun over to this thing and just kill it right now. I, I think he could flank it from here, I think? I'm not sure if it'd be a flanking shot. I'm really not quite sure. This is a bad situation to be in, but I need to be proactive and do something, not just 
Hunker down. I need to move. I'm gonna do it. There might be like three fucking reaction shots here. This might be really bad, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. There's a reaction shot. Don't hit. Oh, fuck. Okay. The primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. I don't give a shit about protecting the equipment. I just want to live. Oh, look, I have one turn to get the metal container. I don't care. It's only a 78% a chance to hit. If this isn't hit, he's dead. Smith? You need to do this. Thank God you might actually live. Okay. Now, to get hit from where he's at, they would have to basically come out. So he should be kind of safe there. Ish. Anyway, um... I'm gonna run and gun and take this little shit out. Right, it's, it's not a flanking job, but it's really close, so it's a 93% chance to hit. Okay, good. I need to get my sniper closer, but he needs to be in full cover. Is that any good? I'm not sure if he'd be close enough. Not, I don't think he would be. There's really no full cover that's like right outside of... Right outside of there. I could try to come in through the back to flank them, I guess. Maybe that'd be a good idea. I doubt I have enough time to actually get into a flanking maneuver, though. What's the chances of that? No, I'm just gonna go into Overwatch, so if they decide to come out to go after Smith, he'll hopefully be okay. Really depends on what they do here. They're gonna hunker down, or are they going to come for me? Okay, looks like they might be sta- oh, you have a shot? Huh, he's in full cover, good luck with that. I mean, she's in full cover, good luck with that. Overwatch, okay. So there is an Overwatch. Oh no, I lost the meld, who cares? I really wish I had a grenade right now, so bad. She can take one shot before she needs to reload. 21, 13, that's bad. You know what? I am going to come in through the back. Or should I? Should I? I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm just going to move her out of harm's way. And wait for my running gun to come up. Did you really have to walk that way? I mean, I guess no matter which way she went, she probably would have triggered the overwatch. So I guess that's fair enough. Maybe if she went this way, she wouldn't have? Nah, uh, probably still in line of sight. Yeah, she still was in line of sight of it. Alright. For now, just reload. Just gonna collect ourselves, wait for the running gun to come back up, and everything will be okay. Maybe. You can just overwatch. And also reload. Oh, yeah. Ah, there's no full cover. Alright, let's just move you up. 
We're gonna have to take this place in like one or two turns very quickly. So we're preparing ourselves at the entrances, ready to assault. And if they come out here, they're gonna get shot by my sniper. Okay, good. They're staying inside, which is what I thought they would do. So one turn for her running gun, and one turn for Smith's running gun as well. So we still need to wait. Now, do I want to move her up here? Not really. I mean, I'm going to be going right up to them to shoot them anyway. So I'm not really going to be taking advantage of the flanking maneuver. So I'm just going to be running up to them anyway. And no matter whether I run in the back or the front, I'm still going to trigger any overwatches. Plus they're concentrated over here, so my the chance of actually being able to dash to where they're at is more likely from where I'm at here than if I go in the back. In other words, I'm going to leave her. Overwatch. You know, I just totally forgot that soldiers actually have pistols. But, I mean, who wants to use a pistol? I'm pretty sure I never used a pistol in my entire playthrough of Enemy Unknown for, like, all of 30 hours. You can upgrade them, but at the moment, I, I, I'm pretty sure they do practically no damage. I guess just Overwatch? I really don't know if he's even close enough to shoot them if they come out. I suspect he's not, but... Overwatch. And Overwatch. And reload. Just in case. Oh, are they coming out the back? Or are there more? See, we've lost... We've lost sight of the enemy, so I don't know how they're moving. We're lacking intel. Okay, I see a mind meld beam. But where's it coming to and where's it coming from? I'm not sure. Why don't you have a peek inside, Spectre? So it's coming from you. And of course you're in full cover. And you're behind the core, which is the thing I don't want to destroy. If I want to recover the most parts. 25%, that's bad. But it would kill two. Again, it's a gamble. Alright, can't run and gun. <laughs> See, now if I did come in through the back entrance, I would have this solved. Ah, <sighs> but I didn't. You know what? I'm I'm gonna wait. Yep. Yes, sir. Let's come in through the back entrance. Oh, I oh I have a flanking shot from here. Oh, 75 uh, 70 percent chance to hit. Hell yeah! I didn't think I would have that. Excellent! I just killed two. Okay. Much better position than we were in before. 65% chance. Is that thing on Overwatch? It's standing out in the open, which makes me think it isn't. Well, there's no full cover in there anyway, so I really don't want to move. Alright, prove yourself, Spectre. Rise up in the ranks with your battle fedora. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Nicely done. Unfortunately, you didn't get a promotion. Which sucks. Probably one more kill for that. I'm oh, shit. Did not mean to go out in the fucking open... Ah, shit. There's a thin man. 10% chance to hit. No. Alright, well, I already failed, so just... Just, just go back. 
I mean, I already have this solved because there's only one enemy left, I think. And I can kill him with a simple run and gun, so... I just need to keep my people out of danger at this point. And just wait. One more turn and I got this. I just need to find, figure out where it is and then run and gun to it. There you are. You know what? Before I run and gun it to death, I can't get in there, right? Yes. Okay, before I run and gun it to death, why don't I give Spectre another chance to maybe earn her stripes? 45% chance, not bad. Come on, come on. Nice! Operational objectives completed. Wait, Spectre still didn't get a promotion for killing two enemies? Damn. Operation Red Summer. Well, it actually wasn't exactly red. More greenish goo because it was mostly the, the aliens that bled. And they don't have red blood. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, Spectre was prom promoted, What? I, but it didn't say anything. Oh, oh well, sweet. You certainly deserve it. <laughs> the automatically generated nickname is Socks, Isabella Socks Arrow. <laughs> what? what the hell kind of a nickname is Socks? Enjoy Arrow, Isabella Socks Arrow. What a beautiful name. Okay. Assault. Lightning reflexes or close and personal. Forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Oh, that is really good. Close and personal. The first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. Cannot combine with run and gun. What, ooh, what could you do with that? Cannot combine with run and gun. So... So that means you can't take two shots per turn. What? Well, no, actually you could. You still could, even without being able to use run and gun. I'm trying to think of how you'd use that. Okay, so... You could... Unless you just happen to be very close to the enemy, which is pretty unlikely. Most likely you're going to have to move to the enemy. So you use some of your action points, you use one of your two action points. To get close to the enemy, you... You, um... Fire at it. And that doesn't cost an action. And then with your final action point, you could... Shoot again, or you could move. Okay, these are both pretty damn good. That is pretty good. But you would have to be close enough to in a non-dashing maneuver be able to shoot, because if you dash, you use up both of your action points. I wonder if you'd be able to use up all of your action points and then still use this, and still make a standard shot. Oh, I don't exactly know how it works. This is tough. First reaction shot is forced to miss, so that's good for getting into the enemies. You know, getting into the enemy. Getting behind enemy lines without dying. This could cause some crazy multi-kills. Or it could allow you to shoot someone and get out. Only if you don't use run and gun. So this would not combine with run and gun very well at all. Or in any way, really. Whereas lightning reflexes would combine very well with it. 
You could just run and gun, dash to the enemy, and anyone who tries to shoot you, unless there's a bunch of them, are going to miss. Hmm. So run and gun, basic. I think going down this way would allow you to get in behind enemy lines and kill one enemy much better, whereas close and personal would possibly allow you to kill multiple enemies. They're both good. This is a really, really difficult decision, and I... I agonize for, like, hours over these sorts of things. Well, not literally hours, obviously, but... <laughs> these are the sorts of things I just take a really long time to make. It's so hard. I want them both. Oh. How often am I actually close enough to do this? Not often. No, okay, I'm gonna go with lightning reflexes, because I don't think I'm often close enough to really make use of this. Yeah, okay. Alright, Spectre, you are a sniper. And there's your headshot ability. Ooh! Badge of Badassery. Yet another Badge of Badassery. Bunch of meld, UFO power source. Bunch of stuff. Who should I give the medal to? Hold on, what does that do again? Aim against enemies in full cover. A plus to the aim against enemies in full cover. Who needs that the most? I would say Sniper. Yeah, I mean, Assault often gets in behind the enemy, get, gets in so close that the percent chance to hit is almost irrelevant, because it's almost always 100%. So I'm going to go with Sniper. I think. Alright, yeah, let's give it to Dresden. You served me pretty well so far, Dresden. Not bad, not bad. This is for your... Maybe not excellent, but pretty damn good service in the, in the line of duty. Also, your hair is awesome, by the way. I just want to say that. Uh, I mean, congratulations! For the badge of badassery. That's such a terrible name. It's not descriptive at all as to what it does. <laughs> At least the shoot better across is actually descriptive. Alright, research still going. The facility is very much still building, unfortunately. Gotta wait for that damn thermo generator. That was so stupid of me. Officer training school! I forgot about this. Squ increase the squad size. Absolutely, you need to increase the squad size. It's so important. Up to the max. Up to six. You gotta do that as early as possible, so let's do that right now. Done. Okay, what else here? Wet work. Plus 25% experience gained from kills. Well, that's good. Soldiers receive a larger will bonus each time they are promoted. Uh, I don't even know what will does. But, the gain to experience, the plus to experience gained from kills, this is the sort of thing where it's really an investment. And the earlier you get it, the better it is, right? The more worth you get out of it. It costs the same no matter what. But the earlier you get it, the more you get out of it. So it's best to purchase it right now. So I'm going to do that. Alright. Well, I've been playing for a little bit over four hours. So I think it's time to stop. But so far, it's been a... Well, the start to my... My XCOM program has been pretty good. I'm kind of incompetent, but I think I'm getting slightly more competent. I've definitely made some big misplays and done some stupid stuff, but hey, no one's died. Not a single person has died. That's the most important thing. No one's died. So, so far, it's been a success. And my, my very strange looking group of soldiers are doing quite well.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different people that have risen up from being a rookie. Of course, a lot of them are wounded. <laughs> a lot of them are wounded, but still. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of my strange looking group of soldiers. My ragtag group of soldiers that have strange names like Isabella Sox Arrow and Tyrone Moose M. Gideon Prophet Graves. But I'm proud of them. I am. Yeah. See, this is a beautiful sight. View the memorial is grayed out. That means there is no one to mourn because no one has died. No soldiers have yet died in the fight against the aliens. Let's hope it stays that way, although let's be honest, it's unlikely. Okay. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far and I will return soon to resume the XCOM program and defeat the aliens. And also try to defeat my own incompetence. I think that's the other main thing that I'm fighting. It's not just the aliens, it's also my incompetence that I'm fighting. I'll try to do better. <laughs> Alright, hope everyone has enjoyed. I'll be back soon.